Today we're going to make a wood-fired hot tub. I'm going to make the tub out of a 169 gallon galvanized steel stock tank. I don't want the tank to sink into the ground, so I'm going to cast a couple of footings on top of some packed gravel. I made the forms for the footings out of scrap melamine, and I'm going to make two of them that are about five and a half inches thick. I checked to make sure that they were level, and then mixed and poured some fast setting quick creek concrete mix into the forms. The chickens seem interested in this project, so I decided to immortalize their feet in one of the footings. The fast setting mix, which comes in the red bag, is easy to work with, sets up fast, and it's nice because it comes in 50 pound bags, which is easier to carry than the 80 pound bags. After letting the concrete cure 24 hours, I removed the forms. I had just duct taped and hot glued them together, so this was really easy. I then added a few bags of Quick Creek all-purpose gravel and then added two bags of sand on top of it. To make the heating coil, I cut a piece of half-inch copper tubing about 20 feet long and then wrapped it around a five-gallon bucket. I wanted the coil to be about 18 inches tall from top to bottom. I then cut some one inch by one quarter inch thick steel bars to make some braces for the coil. I then marked the locations for the bolts and drilled a series of holes through the metal bars. I then bolted the steel bars around the copper coil. I used a hole saw to drill one and three eighths inch diameter holes 18 inches apart in the stock tank. I then threaded the tank fittings through the holes and sealed them with some silicone. I then screwed in some compression fittings that could receive the ends of the copper. The ends of the copper were a little bit bent, so I had to trim them before inserting them into the fittings. I then pounded the steel bars into the ground before adding a second set of steel bars. I then did a quick test fire to see if I could get the hot water to rise within the copper coil and circulate into the tub. Success! I was actually really surprised at how quickly the water started circulating through the coil. Before heating the water all the way up, I decided to build a lid so that less of the heat would escape. I screwed together some pieces of 3 quarter inch thick redwood and then traced the curve of the tub onto the underside of the lid and then used my jigsaw to cut along the curve. I did a little bit of finish sanding with the orbital sander. The wood was a little bit wet from the previous night's rain, so I compensated with a liberal amount of lighter fluid. It was about 63 degrees outside and the water temperature started off at 56 degrees. It took two big armfuls of firewood and about two hours to heat the water up to 110 degrees. I then spread out the hot coals so that the water would stop heating up as fast, took the lid off, and I mixed the water since it had sort of stratified and the top of the water was much warmer than the bottom. I was able to keep the water at a nice, comfortable 104 degrees. The whole system worked better than I expected, but there's definitely some room for improvement. Adding a second copper coil or using larger diameter copper tubing would speed up the amount of time that it takes to heat the water. Building a wood stove-like enclosure around the copper coil would make the whole system more fuel efficient. After heating up the water multiple times, I checked the copper tubing and fittings and they seemed to be holding up great. For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Feel free to check out our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye. Sorry, I lost the ending. Let's Speed up the amount of time that it takes to heat the water. Building a wood stove-like enclosure around the copper coil would make the whole system more fuel efficient. After heating up the water multiple times, I checked the copper tubing and fittings, and they seemed to be holding up great. 
For more detailed instructions, check out my website, and if you want to see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Feel free to check out our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye. There you have it.